Welcome Bellator fans and players, we're back for stage 2 of Torino Adriatico. The Helio Fair today, we're inside the last 30 kilometers. All the attacks have been swept up. So we have a couple passages of another small climb. Not too different from yesterday's finale, but a little bit more lumpy. It will get a bit of a smaller group towards the finish. Maybe even some more decisive attacks than we had in stage 1, but we'll have to see. There's your race leader, it's Ciro Guimar of La Vie Claire, who produced the sprint to win yesterday. Second place rider Pascal Richard should still be in this group. There he is. In Turner Adriatico, the race leader wears a blue jersey, not the yellow that we're used to seeing. The leader in the points competition wears a red jersey. In this case, Richard is borrowing that jersey from Ciro Guimar. The King of the Mountains leader wears a green jersey. And if you see a white jersey, it's actually the best young rider's jersey, which is the highest rider age 24 or under in the general classification. Based on how the riders are aged in the database, since the more modern riders will be younger. So not to cause any confusion, but if you see a white jersey, that's what that's for. But it's not a competition that scores any points in the Velo Tour, so we don't have to worry about that. There's Dargod, who's had such a spectacular season, and you always wonder if he's a candidate to win on any given stage, because he is so strong and he seems to always be there in the end. On these hillier stages, he's the sort of sprinter who can still contest the sprint at the end, whereas the likes of Cipollini and Abdi Japarov have a bit of a harder time sticking around on lumpy terrain. We're coming around to the last lap of the circuit, so we're passing through the finish line, and the next time we come down here, it will be the actual finish. Evian, who've been riding at the front quite a lot the past couple days, they've reduced this peloton down to 30 riders. And I imagine Evian will be working for Jean Pierre Don Guillaume and perhaps Chomin Periwena. I think that's an attack from Blackberry, we'll have to see. No, it's just Thomas Vogler who's lifting the pace for Julien Alaphilippe. But that's a move, it's Mark Matteo of Evian. Trying to start some hostilities, he's got Richard and Alaphilippe on his wheel. Chomin Parawena bridges up to his teammate. So that's caused a further selection, just two dozen riders still here. Another very slight uphill between here and the finish. See if it causes further moves, and Richard's gonna go again. I think that's Matteo. No, it's Peruena. He's caught the wheel again. Alphilippe also. Gilbert is leading the chase behind. Now this is an interesting move, and if a move like this gets away on any given day of Turner Adriatico, that could be the difference in winning the race overall. Because I don't expect the time gaps to be all that large in the end. But it's come back together. We have a short descent, and then a flat run to the finish. And this time it's Ockers of Bianchi, so Bianchi not hesitating to attack, being very aggressive early on. Gimar, he's still here, he's definitely a candidate for the sprint, should it get there. So Evian launches yet another move. It's Matteo again attacking. Coming up to the last kilometer, it's come together again, 20 riders, here comes the final sprint, Alaphilippe is going to launch it first, can Guimar get around him for another win? It's going to be very close, but no, Alaphilippe will hold on, he wins stage 2 to get his second win of this season. The race leader, Seal Guimar, defends his lead with second place and another time bonus, and Chomin Peruena of Evian, he sprints to third. Dargod getting 4th place today, and Pascal Richard, the aggressive puncher for Bianchi, he ends up in 5th. Some of the other riders going through to the finish. A Sultanese for Zulu Kingdom, losing some time. It's a bit of a surprise. So too with Andy Hampson, would have expected him to be closer to the front of the bike race. There's Paul Sherwin to bring up the rear. 
So an explosive finale with a reduced sprint, and this time it goes to Julio Alaphilippe for Black Perry, picking up the stage win. But Guimar, another great day, getting second place, defending his race lead. Parawena figuring amongst the leaders for the first time this season, he ends up getting third place. And the ever consistent Andre Dargaud with another pretty strong result. Such stage classification. Just scrolling down to check the time gaps. So the 21 riders finishing together. The rest of the race losing some time. In the GC, it's Guimar who still leads, but Alaphilippe up to second place. He's just two seconds behind now. Dargaud is now third. Richard fourth. Piruena up to the top five. And Leonardo Guerra scored a time bonus at some point in the course because he's in sixth at 14 seconds. The rest of the riders in that group forming the rest of the top 20. There's a points jersey, it's still Cyril Guimar, but the gap has narrowed with Dargaud and Alaphilippe both right there. Roach extending his lead in the mountains competition by virtue of his work at the front of the race. And it's Evian taking over the lead in the team competition on the same time as Bianchi Campagnolo and Lobby Claire. That should be an interesting competition to keep track of throughout the race.